Hey guys, welcome back to the Rev and Evan channel. We're at the PRI show in Indianapolis, Indiana, and we're in the Ford Performance booth. We got some neat stuff to show you. Breaking news, we're giving you the first look at the Megazilla 7.3 crate engine. This thing is turnkey, ready to go, 615 horsepower. I got Mike Goodwin here from Ford Performance. Mike is gonna tell us a little bit about this engine, give us the details, and uh, so Mike, take it away. Well, if you remember a couple years ago during COVID, PRI did a road tour, they came, we showed the 7.3 on our run stand, and I teased a motor, the Megazilla, the Megazella is finally here. This is a naturally aspirated 7.3. We upgrade the pistons and the rods and the camshaft. We have ported and polished cylinder heads and our new intake with the low profile throttle body coming out of the front. This takes the GT500 throttle body, the 92 millimeter, and goes on to this new manifold that we designed that you did a great job testing and it is going to be the go-to street manifold great thing about this motor is the torque this thing will make over 500 foot pounds of torque from 2200 rpms all the way to 6000 rpms okay it's going to be a great street piece can be a great truck piece as well now so this has ported heads or no yes these are ported heads and we went with a mild street port. We didn't want to go too crazy to where we had to add material. You know, the cost gets out of control then. Yep. So we wanted to do a, a fairly mild street port, but we're making the numbers. You know, I, I probably should have asked for more power from Tom Detloff and the team, but um, we're happy with the way this turned out. Great torque and a great horsepower number on pump gas. Yeah, and I think some of the some of the big features about this engine, if you're engine swapping and you want to use a Godzilla, now you have, of course there's aftermarket companies, Brian Wolf is doing his deal and, and a couple other companies where you can get an engine. But now you can get one right from Ford, over 600 horsepower, but because you're getting ported heads and because you're getting um, good rod and piston, to me, that's upgradable. There's Absolutely. a lot of, there's other intake manifolds if you want to go yep. with stack injection. You could slide your own camshaft in there if you want a little more aggressive camshaft. And what we've seen on the dyno, that 615 can go way up. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that was a, with a fairly conservative tune. And we know people are gonna throw more camshaft at it. They're gonna throw boost at it. You know, one of the limiting things on the production piston is when you start adding boost to it, the the top of that piston, there's just not a lot of meat between the, right. the crown and that first ring. It's a cast piston. Right, it's fine for a production truck engine, right. you know, that's gonna run at, you know, 4,000, 4,500 RPMs top. Not great in a performance application. And that was one of the first things we looked to upgrade, Right, was that piston and rod package. So some of the neat stuff, Scott's pointing out the Nice Ford Performance intake cover, which you don't always get. That's not a factory type piece. No, that is going to be exclusive to our manifold. And then, like we pointed out earlier, the straight intake, which alleviates a lot of installation problems. But I also see wiring on the engine. So tell me about what's going on, because is this deal plug and play? Yes, this is the factory harness that comes on the motor that is plug and play with our control packs. We have the automatic control pack for the for the 10R out of the Super Duty that's on the shelf now. Right. I have a manual control pack that I will have in first quarter of 2023. It that has been a bit of a longer development cycle because we had to start from scratch. Sure. There's no production manual transmission with the 73. So we had to build our own software in order to build the calibration mm -hmm. to make this go. And you saw the bulge. You and did that, the bulge. That was our manual transmission development vehicle. So any modular or carry bell housing or transmission will fit this. Right now you have a flex plate on it. 
But right. I'm assuming you could just pop in a um, a pilot bearing if you wanted to use a manual. Exactly. And that will bolt right up too. Exactly. Yep. Okay. So what else? Is there anything else special about this thing that we need to know about? When when is it available? We are targeting probably early second quarter um, to have these on the shelf to be able to get out the door. I don't have final pricing yet, but my target is going to be uh, sub twenty thousand retail. So, but right turnkey package ready to drop in. Yeah, you don't power. You don't have to source anything. It literally comes complete. Throttle body on there, wiring, injectors, ready to rock and roll. So, hey, thanks everybody for watching the channel. We got more stuff coming from the PRI show, so stay tuned.